Zaya here, bringing you a game against the Protoss player Eldred on Metalopolis. I am 0-3 on the day, but I have not actually been cast in the games. I just felt like playing a few before I went bowling. Yeah! 1-3 on the day! Zaya here against the Protoss. I'm trying to get one fucking game worth casting before I go to bed, but they've all been retarded. I'm Zerg. Um, on Shakuras, when he doesn't know my race, I feel pretty safe going hatch first. Hopefully he doesn't find me in time to deny it, but the way my night's been going, he will. The only win is this game that I just showed you guys where the guy left at the beginning. Those are just fun to show at the beginning of real games every now and then. Um, yeah, I start out, my stat thing showed my Zerg vs. Toss is really good, but now I am getting my ass handed to me every game. And part of it's just the map choice. Maps like Shattered Temple, uh, Shattered Temple, Zerg vs. Toss are ridiculous because the Toss just auto get their third. And you kind of have to, at least I feel like you have to put two base pressure on. Um, uh, so, I don't know. Like, yeah. Shattered Toss get the free third, Zerg don't really get a third as easily because if you try and take your fast third you can't take it behind the rocks. Just feels like a terrible matchup for Zerg. Maybe stats and stuff uh, show differently. But yeah. I don't know. He hopes I'm not Zerg so apparently he's not doing a build to beat Zerg. That's good. That's actually really good, because it means he's not forge first or anything. Yay, I might do something right for once. Shakuras, obviously Toss can take a third on this map if they want, but because it's such a huge map, it's not terrible for Zerg. And hopefully this guy isn't still going to like can to me or something, because I am so behind on the... You know, I'm just going to chase this guy around. I need to scout too. I need to see what he's doing. This is kind of... Why did I scout? Oh my gosh. I scouted cross position. Are you serious? Zai, Zai, Zai. Uh, two drones being pulled off mining is kind of a nuisance, but I feel like I need to know what he's up to, and I also want to keep tabs on this probe in case he tries anything tricky. And there it is. Wait, what? Is he going to try and get a cannon back here? Uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. My thing will be done before his cannon, I think. Hmm. Yeah, he's just forging. Oh, zealots are coming too. Protect my spine crawler. Really? Oh, well, I'm going to lose this game, too.
Oh, I made him, uh... I made him get some cannons at least in his main. That's something. Slowed down his expo, killing a couple pylons, but for the most part, pretty useless shit. Zerg speed not even up yet. He has a cyber core. Is he training? Yeah, so. Yep, there's a stalker. I am nowhere near Zergling speed. Maybe I can go pick off the zealots. How's my saturation? Yeah. I don't know. That that attack was so late. If I wouldn't have gotten greedy and gotten What the fuck are you guys doing? If I wouldn't have gotten greedy and gotten so many damn um, drones, if I would have just gone 14 pool instead of 16, that would have been easy as hell to defend. But I went 16 instead. And I'm just going to attack him in and let these zealots kill all my units. Nice. Losing more overlords. Pretty standard Xy right there. Now I have speed. Never got an auxiliary hatch though. So I have to wait for a bunch of injects. Oh, and these links come out. I'm going to have to push out again and hope that he's futilely expanding or something like that. I don't fucking know. This hat should have been coming a long ass time ago. I will get us around on those guys though. That'll be good. Outside the range of the cannons. Uh, might need a baneling nest. Not sure what else to kill him with if he tries to wall off. He should be walled off by now, we'll see. Oh, fail wall. Well, that keeps <laughs> keeps me in it a little longer. Let's see what we got going up here. What? What? You guys are fuckheads. Um, hmm. Run! Hmm, let's... Yeah, I'm just gonna go Hydras and hope that, uh, I can get them across the map in time. If I can keep him on one base, I doubt he's teched up, really. It'd be nice if I wouldn't supply block myself before I even get hydras when I have plenty of time to build them, but eh, nobody's perfect. Let's get their range upgrade. Hope he's stuck to gateway units. Kill this nexus again. Don't cancel, don't cancel, don't cancel. Ah. Oh. But yeah, he is stuck on one base. I'll go check the others. I don't see how he could have them though. And I'll get some hydras. This might be the silliest one base Zerg vs. Toss you have ever seen. Oh, there's Void Rays, but I'm bringing Hydras in! Right, I'm just gonna go take these cannons out. And let's go uh, see what I can do.
problem is Hydras are so slow. He has lots of time to react to this, but you know, Void Ray is not the best counter for Hydra, so I, I don't know. This has been the ugliest game of all time. Lings, back off, back off. Let the Hydras do their stuff. No. Fuck you guys. Stay here. Get in. Oh, let rally lings. Kill that cannon. I cannot believe I'm actually in this game. I do not know why he went void raise when he had such a huge lead. He didn't, I don't know, he didn't protect his expo either. He should have just given up on trying to defend these cannons and just killed my expo. Um, I don't see how he can deal with this many Hydras now, though, especially when he wasted so much trying to get that expo up. He's trying to get force fields. Yeah, if he would have gotten better force fields off, I think he still would have been okay. But now I can pick off his buildings. I'm going to switch back to Hydras. Got to pull back the... Uh, Pull back the Hydras, and wow, that was the craziest one base Zerg versus Toss I have seen. We both made plenty of mistakes. Uh, I know my casting was very bitter and angry at times, but you guys like that, right? And shit, I don't know what else to say. Oh, you guys top eight too. Now he's losing record. Just tons of games. Um, yeah. So I guess the takeaway from that game is when you're Protoss against Zerg, when you, that double pylon, double cannon thing, you've done what you needed. You, you denied the Zerg Expo, he lost his hatchery, lost his spine, lost a ton of lings, very cost effective. Back off. Take your Expo and, or Forgate if you want, and let, let the Zerg take all the time he needs to kill that base. What he did was he pushed out with a, two Stalkers and a Zealot, and he needed those to finish his wall and protect his expo. Because he lost those units, I was able to kill his expo. And then he warped in four more zealots when I couldn't expand. And those four zealots might have saved his expo the second time around. I don't know, it just... You've denied the zerg, you've taken a huge lead. Don't throw it away by continuing pressure when there's no need to. So, yeah, that's all I got.